Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. Today we're going to begin the <clears throat> quest line for Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Today we are going to be setting sail for the island nation of Inazuma. Awesome stuff. Oh, this will be good. I do for you, traveler. About traveling in a zoom. Ah, yes. I've heard mm. that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Now yep. that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, mm. I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. You don't? There you are. Or aren't you a robot? Will be taken to Inazuma, right? I've been waiting all day for you. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Well, it's an honor to meet you. Awesome. It's an honor to meet you as well, sir. Completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a head count, we can get underway. Awesome. Beto sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Excellent. Beto is the captain of our word. Mm-hmm. She is. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. I will. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the so? before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Yep. Until we meet again. Ad Astra Abyssosk. See you later, Catherine. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically <laughs> see each other every day. And we'll see each other in Inazuma. Well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami <laughs> Island. I knew it. I knew it. So there's another Catherine in Inazuma? <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell <laughs> to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyun Stone Forest. Excellent. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. <sighs> okay. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. See you there. See you there. The immovable god and the eternal Euthymia. Talk to Juza. Ow. Oh. That's, uh... Su Ling? Okay. Can I just... Yes, I can. I can teleport to the Alcor. That's good. That's good. All right. Or to the Alcor. And find the captain. <laughs> Talk to Beto. Excellent. Ah, you finally made it. Well, of course. All these years come rain or storm. The Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. Apologies. <laughs> Don't look too serious. I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. Excellent. Well, now that everyone's here, we set yeah. sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation, nation of, eternity. of eternity. Anchors away! Anchors away! Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> We're gonna see this eternal storm, aren't we? Come on. Show me the storm. Maybe. We might not see him. Oh, Lumine is so cute when she smiles. <laughs> they do so well with the facial expressions on these characters. So well indeed. Excellent. Let's see the brave. <laughs> Let's brave the wind and the waves and the tempests. <laughs> what happened? Where's the epic cutscene? Where's the epic cutscene where we see the storm surrounding that? <laughs> Figures. All right, then. Well, we're here already. 
all this build up with all the storms and stuff and all that and then we don't even get to see it we don't even get to see it haha <laughs> here seems an interesting man Ahoy! Let me guess, you're our welcoming committee. So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. Yeah, I did, I did. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Ah, maybe you should. You can blame your almighty shogun. <laughs> the tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Yep. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Right. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, <laughs> a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. Oh, really? Nice. You don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Probably long Toma, enough, honestly. You are... oh, no need for introductions. <laughs> Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at bay. Hmm, interesting. Nice to meet you, man. But certainly the rumors exaggerate a bit. Oh, good lordy. Paimon loves getting flattered. Give you a head start here. Thomas resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. Fixer? If you run into oh, no. Here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. Pull any moves, huh? <laughs> no need yeah. to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Yeah. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Who? Oh, right. Until next time, traveler. Oh. Remember to really? Keep all, no matter what perilous storm. I guess I didn't get that part. We got this. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Paimon, you are adorable as heck. First things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Border checkpoint. Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just going to walk <laughs> into the government's hands? No. <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. Right. And so we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Okay. Alrighty then. First things first. Oh! The waypoint's already unlocked. Good, good. That just means it's easier for me. I don't have to worry about it being locked and me having to unlock it later. It's just right there. That's a pretty picture right there. Pretty, pretty picture. Alrighty. Keep a going. Keep it going. I mean, I could probably go and get the um, Statue of the Seven there, but I don't want to yet. Kageyama. You know, I'm a bit of an otaku and a weeaboo, so... And the purpose of your visit. <laughs> oh, except you, Toma. Except you, Toma, yeah. You don't have to worry you about it. New here. Uh-huh, yep. Excuse me? Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. We are here to trade wine and ore. Currently, only members of the International Trade Association are authorized to engage in the import and export of goods. Do you have your trader's permits? Yeah. My apologies, but I'll help. Here are their entry papers for your kind perusal. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what you said. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe I should have said I'm here to find my brother. Maybe that would have even made it worse. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. Welcome. Welcome. <sighs> Ohio Gazimas. Yes. So, where do we the Outlander Affairs. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Oh, wonderful. Sheesh. So it is super strict. Just like everyone said. Yep. Well... Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. outsiders. As the word suggests, 
Outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Not even on yep. Uto, where they've established an outsider settlement. Welcome or not, we don't have a choice. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Very now, well let's indeed. Head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Excellent, excellent. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. Kanjo Commission. Kanjo Commission? Yep. Yes, one branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing Ooh, the nation's We got another. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? Nope, not at all. It's not like I have a whole lot of time to listen to stories about different agencies from other nations. Honestly, it's enough that I have to worry about the goings-on in the nations I've already been to. Hey, Eureka. How you doing today? You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply? Yes. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Jeez. That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Jeez. So much questioning your math. <laughs> Ma'am. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. <laughs> By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce. <laughs> Four hundred. Oh wow. I mean, that's a major discount. This is just a processing fee. I think 600 mora should cut. Yeah. All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a fixer. He's probably got a lot of connections. Connection. Connection. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. Eh. Kermit. Kermit the Frog. I am not. I think it's about more than just the more. It's not as mind-boggling as you think. The processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So hmm. it becomes a question of how much they can make. Ah, uh, and for Outlanders, so when the day they end up getting taken for a ride. Overseas with more money than sense gets stuck here. <laughs> like residency. More money than sense. Hmm. Sounds like Tartaglia. <laughs> it's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Doesn't anyone push back? Yes, yeah, but they don't. When you're an outlander in Inazuma, mm. far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. Yeah, you don't exactly have the option to say. Do to look after themselves is stick together. Right. That's how the International Trade Association came about. Mm. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders. Yep. Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Jeez. And essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. So how would an outlander ever get to meet the Raiden Shogun? Hmm. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. Mm -hmm. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. That may well be, but I still have to find a way. Huh. My brother takes precedence. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? <laughs> oh, jeez. More like, uh, I'll have to save your butt. Eh, not really, okay, but... I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Ah, you do, of course. The Rito Fixer has a way to fix our situation, too. Well, let me guess, it's gonna cost us. I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it could be done. However, before we get there, of course, there's a catch. Come at a high price, you understand? Uh, not you too. Yeah, yeah. It's the way of things here in Inazuma. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. No? In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that 
If this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. Oh, we had to help more people. That keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. <laughs> it sounds very reasonable to Kaima. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. All right, what's the darn job? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, <laughs> never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Yeah. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. Mm. The head of the association is called Carissio, and he's a good friend of mine. Carissio. We'll him. I'll wait for you here. Carissio, the head of the commission. Or the association. Wonderful. How much you want to bet? I had to fix a situation where it's an unfair situation, unfair arrangement between Outlanders and the officials. But because it's Inazuma and they don't really give a crap, it'll be harder than ever to do much more than just complain until I step in and take care of it. Because of course I always do. I take care of things because nobody else will. Before this, I'm going to go ahead and open up the map. The world opens itself up to those with noble hearts. Yes? Yes. Before those with noble hearts. Okay, good. Now that I've gotten that opened up, it'll be easier for me to get around at least currently all right let's go see what I can do to help the trade association and its members huh? hello there you must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association <sighs> the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth I suppose luckily we had a friend with us oh, good that's a relief. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yeah. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. Nothing new at all? The Toku Decree certainly hmm. makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity. But in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No? No. What's really squeezing us outlander merchants dry is those Mora grubbers from the Conjo Commission. Ah. Uh. Oh, of the three commissions? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. It's not? They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. Oof. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Oh, jeez. Jeez, this is, oh, wow, this is a, f <laughs> this is an economic nightmare, guys, you know. When, when the government changes the way that you're supposed to pay your taxes and does so in a way that requires you to um, basically pay in material goods and only a specific material good, this is what we call mon a monopolized taxable um, resource. And so then those who have power or have possession of this resource jack up the rates at which they will sell the item. And so then we end up with situations like this where from the association had never heard of before either until the new decree came along because of course it did eventually one of the older liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to snezhnaya in his youth yep so in order to pay our taxes we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow and let me guess then one merchant has to create a bigger problem for ourselves the rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher and those that have possession of it. One vendor who even has it in stock. Oy. Wow. It anywhere else. Dang. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? 
Yes, but here on retail, no one cares about the Outlanders. Vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. Yep. How much you want to bet this guy's also in league with the the um commission too? Of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. Once that happens. Can you discuss the situation with the Conzo Commission? We've tried communicating, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. Yep. Ah, Fontaine, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Why don't you just go home? Eh, the vendor does sound like a fishy character. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point, he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources this stuff. Huh. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hmm. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. He might, or he might just lead us to where he's at. Correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. <laughs> Excuse me. If you can find him there. Okay then. On the case. Let's go find that merchant and see what the heck he's up to. Probably no good, but then again, we didn't have to go find him to tell that. You know, I remember the first time that I had to um, go through this nation. I've been through this game. I don't think I recognize you. Are before. You new yes, we just arrived. So, what do you need with me? Where do you source your goods? You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Let me guess. Got it. You know what trade and secret mean, right? Yeah. Can you reduce your prices? Are you even buying? Oh, they're wasting their time. Price the is price non-negotiable. Is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. You're an app. I'm a butthole. Get out of here. Go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. And they ought to be more grateful. <laughs> if it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we going to do? There's no talking to this Time to get the real fixer on the case. Let's go talk to Telma. And then see about getting help. <laughs> Let's hope I can finish this quest line before the end of the night. Although I, I'll bet you, I end up having to come back up here after Colbert and do a part two because it's almost eleven o'clock now, and I'm gonna cut it off at eleven twenty-five. You're gonna have to help us help you. No? Well, by all means, getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. What do you know about Werner? Oh, that guy? He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he'd collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving mm. the International Trade Association. Oh, he left the association? He used to be a member of... Yes. Mm. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? Seemed like a Mondstadter to me. That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business. When Inizuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Jeez. The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. Right. So he left the association and turned his back on them. And then found himself. I'm sure, it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. I'll go back and talk to him again. Really? Well then, it sounds like you may have. Remind him of his roots. That's what I'll do. Uh, I can't do a world join request right now. I'll do some later. I will. <laughs> Not that I don't want to. What are you doing back here? 
Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. It was the wind that led me back here to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? A dandelion wine would sure be nice on a day like this. Mondstadt? You're... Ah, uh, what should I go for? Windmill Aster, small lamp grass, dandelion seed. There we go. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. Mm. The scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Let the wind lead. Oh, my hometown. Oh, oh, <clears throat> so, try oh, close your eyes. What is this? Just close your eyes already. Listen closely. Doesn't it sound familiar? You mean the sound of the ocean? Cheap and tasty chop suey. Leah Harbor. I can <laughs> see it so clearly. Oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. May the flames of virtue spread to all and never be extinguished. Yeah. I'm right there at the lantern right. This guy has a really active imagination. <sighs> Leeway, Leeway. Well, I got more glaze lilies than anything. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. A lot of people out there sympathize with the position you're in and have supported you in the past. You mean, the folks from the International often... I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run mm. into folks from the Association more than a few times doing just that. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them? Um, well, no one... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, mm. committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So mm. I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. I think I know who he's talking about. The Conzo Commission? I'll tell you the whole story. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. Uh, come on, you come on man. Oh, come on. It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Oof. Kishiro and his they start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Oh no. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. Oof. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. We need evidence. Evidence? Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. Mm. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Sure, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna find out the truth and figure out what's gonna get him in trouble. He's gonna get in trouble. It's him. After him. After him, but not too fast. Make sure you don't. You're not seen, but you also don't lose him. You lose him, and you lose any chance of being able to figure out what's really going on. Ah, Ryoko, how's business? All the better, thanks to your generous patronage. Oh, figures. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but of course, tax collection is difficult work. 
tax collection, difficult work. Eh, talk to Matthew about that. Now, who else is behind on payments? Let me think. Yes, the trade association clicks still needs to be brought into line. Figures. Eh, corrupt businessmen always. Hmm. What was that sound? Nothing. Must be hearing things. Ah, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. Need to hurry, huh? Hurry where? Let's catch up a little. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what could he be doing at a place like this? Hiding his tracks. Why do we take a look? Yep, let's go take a look. What could he be hiding? Records. Ah, yes. The real reason Paimon came along. Let me <laughs> ah, yes. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> A clear and complete record of every single transaction. Each one proof of his guilt. Dang. Hey, well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Curry for the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... Huh? You aren't gonna come with... I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? Yeah, well, awkwardness is something that's common to a lot of us. Alrighty then. Go talk, tell the trade association what's going on. And give them the good news that their troubles will be no more after a bit because they will be able to basically prove the truth. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Oh. Yeah, but you're the one making a mockery of things here. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? Yeah, not quite, but... So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayer. Huh? Is this true? Yep. You've been swindling us. Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. <laughs> this well, is proof. Look at that. Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. Personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? Hmm. So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Oof. Though I'm sure commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Oh my huh? goodness. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes. No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Oh, you're a savage. Well, even if what you say is true. I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? <laughs> Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike. And us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Yeah. Oh, do you have any idea the hoops I had <laughs> to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Oof. Uh, and not even an so that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. Come on, Harrison. We've already... I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Oof. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief. You've arrived. Oh. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. 
I do my <laughs> utmost to lend them a helping hand. But they're, they're never grateful. Uh, a helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with a hard-earned... Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rule. Seize the merchants. We will resolve... Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Right? Really bad gentlemen, direction. Gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> you never heard of the fixer? Context, Paimon. Context. Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Yep. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However... <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... The young lady of our clan some courtesy. Oh my goodness, it's a fan. Lady of our clan, some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun. Oh, oh. That wow. Oh. I don't need any trouble with her. <laughs> okay, Dang. let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to mm -hmm. worry about. But, gee. Enough, we're leaving. Let's get dinner one Dang. day soon, gentlemen. My, uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned then. Thank you yeah, so well. much, Toma. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price. <sighs> if nothing else, <laughs> I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Oh, uh, I hope so. Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Ah, uh, listening ears are bad for the business. All righty then. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. Yeah, well, when the leader is so hands off, is what would you like to know? Tell me about the Yashiro Commission. <laughs> Straight to the point. I belong to the Kamisato Clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. <laughs> I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? Eh, uh, Lumine's not yeah. bothered by it. The Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Yep. Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, <laughs> who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. Mm -hmm. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. Right. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. Yep. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people <laughs> of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Her fame I bet they do. somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. <laughs> Hmm. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. So where did the fixer example, come from? You're asking the right <laughs> questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, mm. you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time too. Nice. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. Right? I can't even get <laughs> well, one new person to get to be my friend in a month. But the main thing was, <laughs> I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Mm. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Miyu. Yep. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. What rumors? That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change Seriously? The tide of the times? Yet another nation needs my help? I just want to find my darn brother. In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Hmm. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. Hmm. With your help, even the Vision Hunt decree. Ha. Ah, there we go. I never offered to help. Uh, hmm. That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Hmm. 
I have one goal here. To meet the Shogun. Yes, of course. I <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Hmm. Good luck with everything. See, See you soon. soon. Okay. All right, then. I guess we're one step closer, but are we any... Papa's not such a bad guy, huh? <laughs> uh, we should get going. But there's one problem. Huh? What's up? Outlanders are unable to leave Rito. Oh. This must be the next part of his test. Oh, darn it! <laughs> get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamori Tea House to settle the score! <laughs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Uh, right up to the guards and no further. Rito escape plan, huh? Chapter 2, Act 1. Still Act 1. Time is in. 11.16. I got about 15 more minutes before I had to head down. Stop there. Present your travel permits. Travel Good. permits, huh? Well, we really gotta get to if you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. Yeah. Uh, traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? You know, I wonder if the Conzo Commission's heard I of us. I do say we should guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates. Right. Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> or maybe he's just not there. Who knows? Anyway, I'm probably going to leave it here. So that way the next part can pick up where I leave off here. But I'm hoping that the next part goes a bit easier than what this part did. When it can when it comes to um you know, getting through. I might have to break up these particular ones into like three part segments considering how uh if I'm remembering correctly, how long the, the quests were in in the long run. Anyway, I will see you guys again next time. Um, God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.